that's been on my mind lately because my mom's phone is hacked right and i caught the stalkers or the organized stalkers hackers spoofers whatever you want to call them on my mom's phone acting like gamestop employees it was either gamestop acting a fool or it was the stalkers or either way it's gang stalking if gamestop was doing the doing a little mind game trick then they're gang stalking if the stalkers were on the phone then they were still stalking and hackers, right? They have to be hackers if they're spoofing the number. And anyways, or intercepting the phone call. But anyways, um, I had made phone calls from my mom's phone pro previously, right? I had uh, I had got my EBT card declined, right? And I had to re re recertify. So I talked to them on the phone, and I felt sketched, like they had the phone to another phone. You know what I'm saying? So when I ordered the EVT, my mom answered the phone or called them. And they said, uh, my mom told them, well, I have a brother and a dad with the same name. Right. So we said, and I told them previously to that phone call, I called and I recorded that phone call on the live stream. I told them to put Reverend in front of my name so there's no confusion. And I have that live streamed. Um, and then this time, this last time was on my mom's phone that... um. It doesn't have my middle initial on my card. So it made me feel kind of suspicious. You know what I mean? Because they usually always put my middle initial. And they didn't put Reverend in front of it. So it made me kind of suspicious of my food stamp card. But now that we know my mom's hacked, if there's any any kind of situation where with uh, with the EBT snap, then um, then that means the hackers are liable. And whoever's on my mom's phone on the other side is doing scams and fraud through hacking me and intercepting the phone calls and then initiating the phone calls with DHS with another person or putting the phone to the phone. They like to do the phone to phone thing. And you can kind of tell because it's a raspy voice or they put on a speaker. Um, so you could kind of tell in the speaker, but they like to do the phone to phone thing with, with, uh, stalkers, but also they like to do the phone to phone thing with the prison industrial complex, COs, correctional officers, um, inmates in correctional facilities. They do the phone to phone thing to pass wheelas, pass, talk to other inmates to get messages across and to set up people. I believe that one of my Mason friends on TikTok did this to me, but Regardless, I'm, I'm not sure yet, but we'll find out in the future.